There we go. Hey. Hey. We are live here in this guy's dining room. That's where we are. So uh, there's a dishwasher going in the background. Not much we can do about that because while we are here, we are not going to stop uh, Dr. Kalthon Homash from doing his household chores. <laughs> so um, we are here because, um, well, we have gravity. You know, you might see some stuff here at the table. Um, Age of Voltron Dice Masters is out this week. Hey. So, hey. Oh, hey, the YouTube video is playing in the background. Here. So we know it's working. Uh, comment. We'll be checking out the comments um, as we go. We have a lot on the docket today. Um, we're going to be doing this here. We're going to open packs and just talk about the set as we do it. Um, we'll follow the comments there for sure as well. Um, <clears throat> we're also going to uh, then play some games, and that'll be on us. We'll stop this stream and start another, so they end up on separate videos uh, when we uh, get going. Um, you know, and this is on YouTube for posterity. And then we're also going to record an episode of the podcast. You won't see that, but uh, it's going to happen with all four of us. And at some point, we're hoping that uh, RJ Retro is able to come on and pop by, too, onto the Hangout. So uh, lots of fun today. So um, you, you hear our voices a lot, but you don't always see our faces. I'm Dave, and um, let's uh, let's go around and just make sure people can match the voice with the names. I'm Randy. I'm JT. And I'm Isaac. Uh, first face and voice yeah I know. Oh, nobody's heard you guys. before wow so, so uh yeah um we're here and uh we're gonna get going with some packs now we have 15 packs set aside because we're gonna play um we're gonna play a sealed game later on against one another we're just kind of kind of round robin it and um and go from there and you'll see some of the stream of that on the thing later so uh what say we open some packs Still good. all right so um you guys, have we all had a chance to draft a set at this point? Uh, I drafted with some friends last night. Okay. No, I, me and me and JT, we drafted the set uh, this past Thursday, and actually the article for our draft will be going up tomorrow morning. Okay. We Good. drafted with seven last night. Um, did a couple of, a couple of zombies come out. You know, now that I've seen the cards from that sheet that we got cut, I kind of understand the slight curve. Yeah. Of course, they're probably not curling them all off the way they did these. Um, does anybody else think that Kang kind of makes them think of Mystique? A little bit. The original yeah. set. Yeah. From that distance. New Nick Fury. Yeah. Um, the New Nick Fury, I think, is generally underwhelming, right? Oh, I totally agree. Now, last night I played Steel with him, and I loved it. He was an Avenger and a Shield agent. Okay. And so that works pretty well. Um, we'll make a times. Right. Uh, let me get going. Huh? Comments here. Are there comments showing up? The right one? No. Yeah, the I'm okay. Uh, okay with the uncommon. I want the rare to be sitting over there in those 15 minutes. <laughs> so I pulled out separate. That's what won me uh, our sealed game yesterday. And the uncommon wasp wrecked me. The Is rare that? wasp wrecked me. And I passed it to the guy. <laughs> What do you do? Um, yeah, I had a chance to draft two. We had 14 players out for our um, our opening draft, and that was pretty awesome. You get quite the turnout at your place. <sighs> it's amazing. I mean, it, seriously, it stuns me every time. I don't know what's happening, but it's wonderful. Because <laughs> we had, like, nothing happening, and I was, like, fighting and fighting. And then all of a sudden, we had all this stuff happening. Yeah. It's really cool. This is one of my favorite cards in the set, the rare Starhawk. Okay. The team watch, so he's both uh, um, Guardians of the Galaxy and Avengers, and his team watch, when you feel the character, he shares an affiliation. That character and Starhawk both get plus to attack. Okay, yes. I think that's strong. That's a good combo. Especially in a draft format. Well, so far, I'm just commons and uncommons here. Maybe. Oh, I'm sure. I've, got, I've got one rare so far, Hyperion. Hyperion, okay, yeah. I got the rare rockets. Uh, I'm a bigger fan of the rockets that it gets the plus two. Is that the common? common? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love coming in with that, coming in early with that. Yeah. Especially with uh, our Giant's favorites, Giant Man combo. Oh, uh, no, what are you, uh, Giant Man? I don't remember anybody here being a fan of Giant Man. <laughs> Especially or, not RJ Retro. Or high pockets. Or... <laughs> Common Loki. So I was having a conversation on, on Hangouts last night with you guys, and the Uncommon Loki I think is strong in draft, and, and um, Patrick 
uh, really commit to this. Um, Remind us of the ability. Uh, so, uh, uh, field is roll an enemy character die. Deal damage to any target equal to the number of energy symbols for a field cost roll. So, um, because uh, direct damage is relatively limited in in the set, if you can find it in draft, I think it's pretty strong. And, and Patrick's the one who convinced me that last night. Just, uh, you know, in draft, most people wall up so much that if you can find a way to do direct damage and it's potential removal, right? Like, yeah, pick a big guy because there's maybe a field and cost of three on the one end, and if, if if it rolls energy, that's removal. Yeah, I saw an excessive amount of walls when I went down the table last night. Yeah, we saw some of that too. Um, you you, you got to have, if you're going to wall, you have to have some direct damage. I mean, you're not going to be as penalized in this one as you would have in uh, DC. DC, you walled off, you're going to lose a firestorm. Right? Um, here, if you, you just need to have some direct damage. Oh boy, Bucky. <laughs> By the way, everybody was joking um, at the draft that, like, I think pretty much the last two cards that were in every set, if, they, if you had them, were uh, one or another form of Bucky and um, the, uh, the non-starter Hawkeye. Nobody wanted either of those cards, and with good reason. There we go. There's, there's my first giant man pull. All right. That, that uncommon. I like the common. I like the three costs on it. But um, So we're playing Constructed. Uh, I ran up against this giant man twice. I've had the upper pots that let you spin down the two characters. Uh, so every time he was trying to spin his up, I'd feel that upper pots and spin that giant man right back down. Mm -hmm. Strong. That's, that's a neat yeah. idea, yeah. Hey. Yeah, this is my oldest. You want to open some packs on this? Awesome. Still looking for a rare. My goodness. Oh, not That's one yet. No. Those first 15 packs you pulled. <laughs> they must all be in the middle or top 30. Yes. Or, or possibly the possibly, possibly still the bottom 30. Somewhere in the bottom. Well, I mean, I, middle? I have lucked out pretty well so far. Uh, the middle third. I don't know. <laughs> I've lucked out pretty well so far. I mean, in draft when I pulled Gladiator and Thanos, it's like, all right. <laughs> I just pulled the uncommon Gamora that has that global ability. Pay a fist, KO block, or block and character die after damage is dealt. Mm -hmm. Man, I brought that card in a rainbow draft, and that wrecked me. That was a mistake. <laughs> Only after you taught me how to use it. That could hurt you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's. Yeah, I think we were talking about that on the podcast. I that on the podcast. There's no way I'm bringing that to a draft. And that then you did. Hurt. And I did, and it. Yeah. Gotcha. Hey, here's this is just kind of cool that I have a pack with Loki and his scepter in it. Nice. Cool. Thematic pack. Thematic pack. Yeah, absolutely. Still waiting on the rares. No rares, huh? Where are my rares I've at? I pulled three. From front to back. I've got it. There's the, uh, there's the old one I was looking for in our 15. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. I I had so many one ups in our draft, though, it was rough. Like, I had Ultron and a, a, one Ultron, one drone, one Coulson, one shield agent. So those made it on my team. Um, so now it's one Ultron and one drone and off in a draft? I think you probably want two drones just to make sure you can, like, roll it. Yeah, I had an Ultron and then one drone, and it didn't go too well. Um, I, I mean, I, I got there in every game except for one, and that's because I couldn't. I had some bad rolls. If I if I had been able to get a drone, another drone out, and had a shot at rolling it, um, then things would have probably gone a little bit better. But I, it took me so long to get that set up that um, I couldn't do a whole lot. Man, and fielding costs are no joke in this set. Yeah, you got to oh, be ready. Man. Well, one of the ones I use in all that we played so far is this Common Vision Punisher. Mm -hmm. I just love, so he's got the total building cost of four. Or he's got that plus four defense if you have a non villain character active. Yeah. Everybody's going to have a non villain character Yeah. Active. He's sitting there. Hey, there's a rare. Potentially a 3 8 defense. Yeah. We've got Kang here, time shift. While Kang is active, your opponent must pay two life to roll to re roll during the roll and re roll step. Does six cost? It yes, is. it is. That's painful. It is. I mean, it's basically Professor X from uh, AVX. Yeah. With worse defense. A lot worse defense. So you yeah, but better defense. offense. Well, but Professor X had a one attack. That's not hard. Well, yes. That's <laughs> but, like, your opponent can get him off the field easily. Mm -hmm. The second rare I pulled when I got the Red Skull, Hail Hydra, which I love the Red Skulls. I do well or you hurt defense. Yeah. His team watch for the rare is to spin all of yours up or spin all of theirs down. 
Um, so again, if I'm coming down with China, man, yeah, you don't want to let me do that, right? There's another one, Gamora. Choose a character to add a block, Gamora, unless your opponent pays three life. So you're really in the middle there. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Whoa, dice. Uh, so we are. Oh, oh. Super rare? Oh, oh, oh that's the one you wanted. Oh, I think I also just opened the super attack. Oh, man. What's that? Red Skull. Nice. Let's see what kind of art we got. I got the, the regular get? zombie oh, electro. Cool. I know you like electro, even though we're not, we're not high on the card, but you no, wanted that the, one. The card's a little. What do we? The card kind of is kind of rough, but regular. he's one of my favorite villains. All right, regular red skull. Cool. We got the two worst zombies. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I look forward to seeing uh, seeing how these play out. Obviously, yeah. the Magneto is the one I'd love to pull, but oh yeah, yeah. Gladiator's not too shabby either. Um, I think. I think, in, especially in Unlimited, I think you can definitely get some cheap mass characters. You know, I thought that I took him because, well, obviously, it's I pulled this Gladiator, I'm going to use it. Yeah. There aren't as many, I, I mean, in, in, I mean, I want to say there aren't ones in the set. I'm saying that um, the cheap mass characters are uh, didn't come around in my. Mm. Here's the rare Phil Coulson. But yeah, even, and we were talking about fielding costs. I mean, look at Coulson. I mean, he's... His stats top out at 2-3, and he's a 2 fielding cost. Yeah, but the stuff he does for you, I mean, my goodness, his common, oh, yeah. is, his common is a goblin lord for 2. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it affects the shield agents. He Loki and the scepter also. Nice. <laughs> the same Did, which Loki? Was it common or uncommon? Uh, it is common. Well, here's Thanos and Joe Costa in the same pack, so let's oh. see. And there's a Thanos. I already have one, so if anybody's looking to trade. <laughs> Actually, I have, might have a couple of these. I would have liked that to be your cost a little more. Eh, have that too. Um, happy to trade. Know. Looking for a zombie Magneto here. Yeah, you <laughs> the more I'm seeing with what your Pasta can do, the scarier she looks. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ooh, right. we, we knew she was good from the get-go, but the more people kick around ideas on like our forums, it's yeah. like, yeah, she's. The there are things that can shut her down, but. But she comes out hard. She does. I mean, you have to, as with anything, you have to be ready. I mean, everything has an answer. I mean. And the fact that she's a redirect, it's not, it's not her, you know, her character ability that's dealing with damage. If it's combat damage that she redirects. Right. That's that's a way of getting around the Captain yeah. America that's in this set. The cost of that, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> oh, rare giant man. Nice. Nice. I did not pull that yet. That was a full. Picking up a few more rares here since I was earlier complaining. I should update. Yeah, look We're looking better now. So I, haven't, I haven't heard you say much, JT. What's uh? What do you think your best card is you pulled so far? Oh, golly. You're the only one that doesn't have a super rare yet. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I've got a couple rares. But nothing I'm super excited about uh, yet, but that means that it's coming. So I just right. Pulled, I just pulled a rare Odin. Mm -hmm. uh, one field and KO and opposing character with lower defense. I guess you did pull that rare Starhawk earlier, didn't you? Yeah, I did. And I, I do like that card. Fury. <laughs> That's a new Nick Fury. It is a new Nick Fury. It's so, I mean, not being so much a Marvel guy, can anybody explain to me why it is? <laughs> um, no. Because I look at his face and I think, yep, yeah, that's, that's Mr. Robot Jack-O-Lantern guy. I, that sounds like something my wife would say I know, but... In the comic books, he was created by Hank Pym, and in the most recent movie, he was created by Tony Stark, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. Tony and uh, Bruce Banner. Oh, okay. They kind of, kind of want to that. But I don't, I don't understand why they created that face and said, this is the face of a good robot. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the original? Uh, Ooh, Spider-Woman. He was a tombstone of the face. Um, maybe old 60s Ultron. Yeah. Is that like... 
of walking tombstone looking at. Yeah. yeah. I have to say, the rare Spider Woman is incidental. It is life game that I don't mind. Yeah. Team Watch, when you feel the character who you share, who, who shares an affiliation with Spider Woman, you may knock her out to knock out all opposing fielded character dice with a fielding cost of zero. Gain one life for each character die KO'd this way. Nice. Um, there's a lot of interesting things that that runs into, Ooh. and then there's, you get the incidental life. Like you're getting a, like a board sweeper of certain things, and you get the incidental life gain on top of it. Mm -hmm. And she's, I mean, you know, her stats aren't super exciting, but she fits in. She's an Avenger and all that. Can I have something there? Uh, so my daughter just pulled the rare Star-Lord. Nice. The, uh, the shield Star-Lord as it oh, is. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like that. And I pulled the, uh, I, think, I think the only sweet card in the set, right? The rare Loki. Pay two bolts to deal two damage to each opposing character guy. Yeah. Wow. When, when do you do that? Is that when... Uh, when, when, he attacks. Oh, when he so attacks, it's, it's okay. like a breath weapon, breath weapon but doesn't um, damage the player. And, right. and you you have to use bolts, and he's a six cost for a two breath weapon, and it doesn't damage. If I get that, but like in the set, yeah, uh, in the set I think that's somebody. And then uh, the rare enchanters, cool, uh, capture all opposing Avenger dice when, when you field it. So. Which is cool. Like if you field when you or you capture when you field, then. Uh, the, the board is clear for an attack. Hey, seven, oh, there's a rare wasp. Oh, there you go. Um, that'll be one up for trade because I do. I did pull her the other night. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Get, I, so I passed on her in my draft, and the guy who I passed it to ended up beating me with it. And I passed because super I had super rare Thanos. Super rare. Give me high five. What we got? We got uh, Captain Universe. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Go, Adelie. Good pull there, Adelie. Adelie mm -hmm. And there's rare Starhawk. Nice. Yeah, I wouldn't mind pulling the rare Starhawk. Another rare that I'm, I'm hoping to pull, and if I don't pull, I'm hopefully I can trade one of you guys. Is the uh, the rare Baron Zemo mm. that lets you put the action die back into your prep area after you use it. We just got another one of these. Not, it's not a super rare, but it's another Captain Universe. You're right. Yep. I'm on the common uncommon streak. Hey, I feel that. That was my early. I don't want to buy from the beat and sword. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got another visitor or two. All right. Hi. This is my son, Randall the Third. What, uh, are you going to help me open some packs? Okay. Yeah, JD, we got another one of yours here. Uh, these are all of mine. <laughs> yeah. That's a couple of yours. Okay. Left mine at home. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Ethan. We don't have kids. <laughs> My wife sometimes acts like a kid, but so do I. I mean, that's why we're here playing a game, talking about a game. The, um, the impossible to read um, rare color rare. The magnifying glass. <laughs> yeah, the one Gamora is like that too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I saw you. Who did you get? Who is it? Mm -hmm. Who is it? Flash. No, it's not the Flash. It's Daredevil. Yes, you're a DC guy. Look, he's got the Batman shirt on. Rue, you are an awesome guy. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm they, getting they like denied. Like high, they would like a high five. Oh, right, that was a good one, buddy. <laughs> he was too obsessed with the dice. There you go. So we are watching the comments on YouTube, so feel free to say something, and we will, you know, bring it back, <clears throat> but on the video. Okay. All right. Hey, look, the rare Nick Fury. Cool. That's good, since I traded away mine earlier this week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rare Beast. And I nice. already have another one of those, so that one is up for trade. The, uh, the rare spider one. Yeah. yeah. The eye of eight. Yeah, pull that one earlier. I like that. Yeah. There's a plane, right? That's oh, well, there's the rare enchantress for me, too. Uh, you know, you open a pack and you see like that kind of pale yellow, and you're like, "Oh no, it's a zombie!" No, it's just Loki. Yeah, yeah. I've got two of those Loki's. Three. Yeah. Okay. 
did not come out. I'm a bad one. Okay. I just said the common and, un and rare came in the same pack. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, well, there's a group. Let's see what we got. Here we are. Oh. Nope, there's a protector. That's okay. Oh. Thank you. Thanks for some really cool people were covered there. Rue just opened a great too. Let's see what he, see what point was. Oh, we let's go, Rue. We are. Maybe I gotta have some kids just to start opening packs for me. Far from mine. Okay. <laughs> hey, here's a pretty cool. Let's uh, oh, common, common Rue, uncommon Red Skull. This is the most packs I've ever opened. I usually pass them all to both of my kids. Yeah. Ooh, we're ready to start having two packs stacks of commons here. Well, and this is good too because I like to have a lot of extra commons for folks at my store. Um, for new players, we had a lot of new faces at that last event, um, which was awesome. That kind of goes to what you were talking about with your uh, podcast, right? Yeah. So the idea of um, you guys are sort of looking for ABX commons and like, oh, what do you want for trade? Like, I just want you to keep coming to events. So yeah. can please take all of these because I have too many. <laughs> it's like for those that play magic, you had me 10,000 commons. Oh, hey, Rare Baron Zero. Oh. I don't have a spare of them though, right? So unless yeah, something yeah. happens here, I can't trade you. Right, that rare old time drone. Right. Okay. So that rare old time drone, where it goes with the, if he's KO, no, one of your other fielded characters, I may capture those guys. Right. So it's, it's the real side capture. Oh, there's a rare beast. He's a rare beast. Good. And whatever, and remember, whatever we have here, this is not the end because we do have, after we do this and kind of clear out our stuff and talk about it a little bit, um, we do have 15 more packs each that we're going to open up for our, whatever we're doing for Sealed. And we will do that at the end of this stream um, before we shut down and reset. Do you guys go dice out first or cards out first? I go dice. I do yeah. dice. So, so I, I always go dice. I do occasionally like to go with that random, like just kind of go with that peak to see what we got here. I like the dice because it's like, what could it be? Yep. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, oh man, here's a here's a die that I know it belongs to a super rare. So these translucent ones are killing me right now. Like, did, your, uh, did your girls help you wipe through your grass? Yeah, I'm done. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done now too. I still got an All yeah, right. At one point, there were four people opening on my feet. So. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. Um, I pulled the uh, rare shield agent. I meant to say something earlier. Um, it's only on the first phase, which is levels one and two. Uh -huh. During your roll in rare stack, you may reroll any number of shield agents or Avengers die. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, like, I'm really of the opinion that is uh, for what you've pulled or what came from your prep area. I don't think it's a bank. That's that's my opinion. Um, but I kind of like that for you know if you're getting. I don't know the other shield agents' abilities off the top of my head, but I kind of like that, especially if you're going with that um, that being that shield and, and Avengers slim. Mm -hmm. um, to get that reroll for two, uh, when you really need a character face later on in the game, that, that could really come They really could. Yeah, what is that? Actually, what? I don't know what comic that's from, but I don't know what that's from. I have no idea. It's kind of I, pretty I, uh, I think that is from somewhere in the most recent matter <laughs> of the X Men. It is. It's got to be Cartman. That, that artwork is Chris Patalo. And I know in the most recent one of Uncanny X Men, the X Men went up against Shield. Chris Patalo is the artist on that. So I'll have to. I'll need to go back and get the book. There's a lamp in his back, so it looks like a major desk or the top of the desk. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Um, we have a comment here. Hey, guys, I wanted to ask what will be, in your opinion, the next meta changer or maybe the most valuable card in the whole set? And what is the uh, most card you've been drawing so far from the feeds? 
Uh, well, okay, so for the second one, I haven't been paying attention to that at all. Um, I, I don't know what I've been drawing most from the feeds, and generally I feel like from any given feed, there's like that one card that it feels like, why do I have so many of this one? Yeah. In ABX for me, that was Wild Boy. Oh, that was that was the common Nick Fury all yeah. day long for me. So I don't feel like there's enough consistency to answer that one for sure. Uh, no, but what do you guys think is like the next, like the big addition to the meta from this one? I think there's a couple of solid choices. What do you guys think? Obviously, you guys yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's where the conversation is. Absolutely. So, um, honestly, I think the conversation could be where it ends. Um, really? I think, I think Common Loki is going to be a thing. Rare Wasp? Yeah. No, Super Rare Magneto? There's plenty of this. Yeah, rare Wasp. I just, I think in the end, I, that, that might be where we end. Where we stay. That's what I'm talking about. Where the conversation is. And, uh, to your point, like, uh, Rare Walk, um, I think, like, think Rare Walk is going to make an even stronger case, though, for Jade Giant Hulk. There you go. I, I think that makes a stronger case for Jade Giant Hulk. For I'm very familiar with that global. It was like he he was just basically like pinging with it. He had Hulk out, which he was going to use ultimately to close the door. With he had Giant Man, um, but uh, he just kept every every turn Hulk out so cheap. He had all this extra energy, so every turn, ping, ping, ping. Yeah. Yeah. And so I did that twice last night. I was up by five, and he rolled up, and I just got to get him back. And that's basically what happened. I'm sorry, Gene. So, <laughs> he's a good guy. He'll be back. Um, I, I think that, um, obviously, the Super Rare Magneto, where it... Um, Characters that cost three or less lose their abilities. That's going to be a pretty significant piece here. It only costs six, so you could poly that all early. The only problem I have with him is that he does not, he's not a win condition in and of himself. Um, but if it is a team that's relying on other things, like I, I think generally what I'm against is cards that are just 100% answer. Who is it? My wife. Probably. Probably something wrong with our screen. Hello? Hey. So I'm taking this hell on camera. Is something wrong with the stream? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got there. Like <laughs> yeah. I've been here for a while. Sorry. I know I was supposed to check in. Whoops. Turn on. I'm waving at you. <laughs> okay. So you can't. You're just driving. All right. Cool. All right. So. No problem. You're good. <laughs> All right. I'll see you later today, honey. Bye. All right. My, my gravity feed is done. It is kicked. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, my gosh. What could it be? <laughs> but anyway, um, Zombie Magneto, the only problem I have with it is that it's not a win condition in itself. Um, Yes, it's going to really severely disrupt the person who only had like two cards against you, but it's not going to, it doesn't win you the game on its own. Um, it kind of has the same problem of a, like a Lord of the Ring, which is powerful if you get it out at the right time, but the problem is it needs to be the right time, and it needs to be against the right team. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Constantine, etc. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, you also have right there, I, I think that's where we'll see stuff like Common Loki, which basically temporarily, if, if Prismatic sprays one character, um, and that's where we'll see some use of that there. 
Um, what else? I mean, obviously, we talked wasp, um, that rare wasp can just mess with you. It's basically what Jin, it gives you what Jinzo gives you, um, but at a fraction of the cost. It's a three bolt Avenger. Uh, her stats aren't terrible 2 2, 2 3, 3 4. Um, and she forces your opponent to take damage whenever there's a global ability being used. Um, that's, that's not insignificant. But, again, that's where we have helps out there already. You don't always want to just be forced to give your opponent damage. You're essentially saying to your opponent, your opponent could bring Jade Giant and absolutely no way to damage Jade Giant and just rely on people having Wasp. Wasp is taking damage, whereas Jinzo is a loss of life, which won't trigger the same thing. Um, I think there's enough capturing in the game as a whole that that common Ultron could be interesting. Yeah, it definitely puts the uh, Latin speed in a whole new life. Yeah, a card that I think some had overlooked pretty, pretty well. I mean, or even if you can buy in prisons on discount, you, your, you know, the Thousand Dragon or Red Dragon Globals, all of a sudden, in prison becomes a way to deal damage. Right. That's true. Oh, there's uh, RJ popping in his two cents. Mm -hmm. um, I think that Phil Coulson will be around as people continue to work with stuff like flying sidekicks and find yes. ways to make that better and more efficient. Because he gives you what Gobby gives you, or what the common green goblin gives you, but for two costs. And um, he doesn't have the stats that Goblin does, but two costs is pretty, it's a pretty big difference when you're talking about that kind of team. Um, I only pulled a one, but we're, we all have 15 packs aside. Yeah. I did pull two from the one feed the other day. Uh, we have the other... In draft. We, yeah, in draft. Mm -hmm. The other feed... Yeah, but I mean, the fact that I felt pulled that way definitely cost me the draft. Not to say that... Uh, I think his name was Gavin. He played very well. Um, I mean, he did exactly what he was supposed to do with the cards that he had. He did well. Uh, that's not to take anything away from him at all. It's just that, like, passing on that wasp hurt me. <laughs> I mean, it's just, there's no two ways about it. Um, who is this one? Moon Dragon. Moon Dragon. Upside Down, doesn't it kind of remind you of, like, Mr. Sinister? Yeah. Well, I got my, my lone gladiator die right there. Take care of those die if you get them. Yeah. Um, simple rules question, man. Does Super Rare Dracosta blocks on a side that has four defense against, say, an overcrushing call? How much damage does she redirect? Is this four? I would assume we were a little curious. No, actually, that's going to be all eight. It doesn't matter. She, she every, The first time she takes damage, she deflects all of that damage. So if you have, like, something is attacking for 25 with overcrush, that thing is uh, that thing's gone. Like, you're, you're redirecting all that to your face. Mm -hmm. Um it is it different if Hulk doesn't? No, Overcrush doesn't matter because she's not going to be KO'd by the damage. Um, Overcrush requires like some kind of KO or removal or whatever, um, according to what we've seen on the rules form. Oh, I might have another one. There we go. Um, so that's not going to happen that way. Um, let's see. What do you think is the best inset option for Ramp? Probably Captain Marvel, right? Yeah. Jakasa is like if you can't get that. Um, I'll say that with some of the non-combat damage that's flying around, like one cap in America, is it horrible except that he got six? Um, the rare beast isn't bad. That's right, that's when he uh, attacks, yeah, I when, think? when beast attacks, draw and roll or die, if you roll energy, place it in the use pile, otherwise place it in your prep area. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's a crap too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I have... All this dice that I need to pull out in here, pull out. I know when I played JT in our sealed game, that we, we never got to finish. <laughs> um, I used Lost Global Ability on my first turn to KO my own sidekick to prep it for next turn. And that, <laughs> that was a nice jump start. I mean, I didn't purchase anything else on turn one, but it allowed me that five cost Captain Marvel on turn two. Yeah. It was, it was a nice dump. Okay. Let's see here. 
<laughs> RJ didn't realize. So RJ is a time zone over, and I don't think he realized that um, we were doing 11 EST. Yeah. Well, we set up to record the podcast last night based on Eastern time zone. Um, it happens. RJ just it's Canada. Canada. They use the metric system. Eastern they... time zone the only one that matters. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the world runs by right <laughs> <in. So, laughs> At least exactly. North America. That sounds like what he's saying. <laughs> wow. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Boy. Well, not all of them. <laughs> just the ones that are not in Eastern. Yes. You got your range. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Your national wow. champion supports the fact that Eastern Time Zone is the only one that matters. So That's yeah, RJ, right, get on board, the man. The rest of you just fall in line. I hope everybody so knows that when we Canada is in the Eastern Time. That's where I mean. I hope everybody knows that when we talk about the like the Canadian national, like we're we're having fun. It, like no, but, like JT is like a super down to earth guy. He's not like, oh, I won the Canadian national, so <laughs> oh, let me pinky out. <laughs> <laughs> but we're just having fun because it's fun. He doesn't have a championship belt anywhere down the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just ask just ask the girls. They told us all about it. It's like those embarrassing things he doesn't want to admit. It happens. It's real. It's real people. Um, yeah, I don't know if I saw one of a lot. I think I saw a lot of Star Wars. Uh, I did not. I feel like maybe a lot of. Um, I don't know. I always feel like I get too many Buckies. <laughs> I, I have, have one Bucky is too many Buckies. That's, well, that's, that's true. Fair so point. I, we had 75 packs here, 15 in the thing of the night, plus uh, 12 from the um, the draft. Yeah, but let's not count the draft because I wasn't going to draft anyway. Okay. Um, and then I bought like another 10 packs, so that's like a feed plus 10. I have three bucky packs. Oh so, man, that's awesome. I, I wish I was that. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm getting very, 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 very Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at my box right now of everything that I pulled so far, which does include you know a rainbow draft. And a couple of people. And I'm um, maybe Enchantress is sticking out. But I'm yeah, I didn't really, see a few Enchantresses here, too. I'm not really seeing anything that's overwhelming. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I hear that. I've pulled a ton of Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. Like today. <laughs> wow. Today. Yeah. It's, it's six of those. Like, like seven of those on the scale. Yeah. No, I feel pretty good. I'm definitely filling out some stuff here. Um, oh yeah. This is uh, this is solid. We still got 15 packs to go. Um, oh, we got good more. That's six. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I didn't get any father to take any good more yet, or I don't know. Okay, we'll figure that one out later. Um, yeah. Is there anything you guys are specifically looking for that you haven't come across yet? Because for me, it's still just that rare Baron Zemo. That's that's one that I want to play with and haven't pulled enough. Well, yeah, I got them. I'm looking forward to trying them out. Oh yeah, that's a possibility. I I already I have some ideas. <laughs> Maybe multiple rares for some kind of a super rare thing or something else. <laughs> So you wouldn't okay. be talking about uh, zombie magnesium. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I could be talking about. I talk about many, I say many things, you know. Um, what about the uh, the rare Star Lord? Anyone anyone get any rare Star Lord? Uh, I that's, have one. That's the one that yeah. reduces the cost of other guardians. Yeah, I have that one. Um, I actually one. think I might have two of them now because I uh, I pulled I pulled one in my in the seal game. Right? Yeah, you and then I've got another one today, so that's okay. definitely a duplicate I've got. I might be hitting up for that one. Yeah, we'll pull that. We talk about like theme based teams, and we know RJ loves some of that also. Absolutely, he does. I am excited to play Guardians of the Galaxy just based on theme. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. My son loves Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> like, the first thing both of my kids did when they saw the group was like, let me have it. Like, Don't you want to know what it does? They're like, no, I want to put it on this team. <laughs> That's fantastic, though. My daughter made her a Justice League team, and first thing she saw the Super group, she's like, I want it. She played it. Um, it worked really well for her because she was running basically the uh, Wonder Woman uh, sidekick buffer. Oh, 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 that's interesting. And then Super Rare grew on top of that, so all her sidekicks were no damage, one fours, and she was just walling them off. And oh. I was not a big fan. 
Uh, no, nope, I am taking that card from you right yes, now. <laughs> like, you know what? That's um, that that was enough. Enough. But my son loves, I think, all because he is basically a, a nine year old boy, is Rocket Raccoon. Oh, yeah. Um, and I think just like Rocket is, it just works well with this theme, right? He's coming, mm-hmm. he's coming in swinging. He wants to come in swinging. And uh, I just I love his card. Is it the common or the uncommon that's Blam murdered you? That's common. the common. Oh, yes. Plus two attacks, yes. and he attacks with yeah. another character, yeah. Yeah. Which, if you've seen some of the uh, all art ones, uh, they're out there. If you saw the release one that um, the the Indie Mons, yes, yeah. Indie Mons had made it. It looks awesome. Oh yeah, it's like a lambert. He's like dropping down. He's got the gun firing. It's, it's pretty it's, cool. It's, yeah, it's yeah. Cool yeah. Card. So, I mean, if the people from Wiz Kids happen to be watching this, I think they should take some of the movie stills yes. from some of these characters <laughs> and start making some alt art yeah. cards. Yeah. Well, yeah. we did see um, some a little bit of flashing around of a. Uh, a Joker, um, all right. They don't even know what they're gonna do with. It has like the Jack Nicholson. No. Oh, okay. That looks right. pretty awesome. Huh. You were there. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, you were there. I thought so. Yeah. That was at Origins. Um, yeah. yeah, there's some, there's some neat stuff. And the blanks. They're like, well, yeah, we don't know what we're doing with this yet. I'm like, well, you could give it to me. <laughs> 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 if you want, if you wanna, if you're looking for an outlet, I mean, I, I might be able to. Happy to take off your hands. Yeah, you know. Oh, but yeah. I'm- Isaac, you mentioned those uh, oh, blank, nice. those blank nice. variants yes. that are going to be coming out. I am so excited for those because I think that's cool. It's I've a been a big fan of the the blank variant comic book covers that they've been making for a few years now. And you can take you know that blank cover to a convention and have your favorite artist draw a custom cover. And yes, and if, if people are wondering why are they doing that, that's that's why. Like that's so, the yeah, whole inspiration. You, you take this blank card to a comic book convention or game convention and have. Someone draw a picture of that character on this blank card. Really funny. I, I, I wonder. I, I wonder if like Eric Lang or Mike Elliott are decent artists at all. Are they horrible? <laughs> like, like, you go like, hey, Mike Elliott, would you mind drawing like this uh, this Batmobile on here? He draws like a little car, a little stick figure with like ears, <laughs> or, like a little speech with I'm Batman. But it'd be I great. would want it that so much. Yeah. Great to play that <laughs> the next time we, we run into Jimmy at a event, we just have him draw us. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I think that'd be an awesome one. But no, I think the, the artist perspective for that's great. Mm-hmm. I mean, and a lot of I'm sure a lot of people that are fans of this game are good artists in and of themselves. And I'd oh be yeah, really interested to see what people put out there. Yeah, once they get their hands on. Well, we've mm-hmm. seen some of that already in, in tournaments with Melissa. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She's some really creative stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. So. Um, yeah. So uh, we got 15 more packs a piece here. Why don't we sit aside what we've opened and. Uh, and see, see what we're going to be playing against each other with, right? Okay. Um, move all my crap aside here. I uh, I do know my son wanted some pretzels, but now that he's run <laughs> off, I... these are for trade. If you want to look. I I know I've got a few traders, but I, I couldn't tell you what they are. Talk about that. I'll yeah, get those out later. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll figure that out for sure. Absolutely. Uh, all right, well, so we're gonna we're still streaming. Like I'm gonna go get my pack. Let's get them now. Yeah. Uh, this box is working now. It came out of the box. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The, the seal is top of this. Um, it really is. I like it as a format. I think we still have to find a way to make it work like the best way. Whoa. Uh, Problems there. Okay. We need to declare right now. Are we using any and all basic actions, or are we sticking to Age of Ultron? I I didn't stick to Age of Ultron. Stick to Age of Ultron. Wow. All right. Brave. Brave people here. I brought them all just in case. Mm -hmm. So did I. Yeah. But uh, I think yeah. Oh, did you want some more? Did you want some pretzels? Hey, there he is. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's get some pretzels. Do you tell us your enthusiasm that yes, he wants those pretzels? So who has the best? Ooh, this is a good question for when you guys get back. Okay. Think on it. Who has the best art in this set, in your opinion? What I, art? Yeah, I have a few thoughts in my head right now, but now I'm going to look through. Um, no, I think I think there's a lot of great art in this set in general. Like I'm really happy with most of it. They're good profile shots of the characters. Though I got to give um, uh, Sean uh, Sean Ellie some credit for noting that a lot of the characters in this set are smelling their own armpits. Yes, <laughs> a lot. 
four of them, I believe. Yeah. Oh, oh. No Wonder Colson Man. right there. There's Phil Colson, Colson <laughs> like Old Spice. Uh, I'm on a horse. Iron Man, right? Iron, Iron Man. Man. Um, I think uh, Wonder Man. Wonder Man is pretty like explicitly smelling his pits. Let's see if we can get this up here. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna look, but he is very much. Oh yeah, everyone good. can see that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. I, don't, um, I don't think he's the best artist. I, before, like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking through some of my comments. I think, I, I, I think this Loki artwork is pretty sick. I really like the Star Lord. Star Lord is cool. I like um, that the red skull has that like that grainy age. Yeah, like yeah, that's a neat stylistic choice. Yes, I it like looks that. like a very grainy, you know, uh, mm -hmm. propaganda poster. Yeah. Um, Ultron doesn't look like a jack-o'-lantern in his actual yeah. card, which is cool. Ultron drone I like because the focus isn't like one specific Ultron drone. Like there's one in the foreground, but it's the fact that there is this swarm of Ultron drones. And man, yeah. wouldn't the Ultron drone uh, been a great place to have swarm free battle being? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, it would have been awesome to add another swarm. Captain yeah. Marvel looks pretty pretty classic. I mean, there's yeah, that's a classic superhero yeah. pose. There's it's... nothing great about it, but. <sighs> I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of the Black, Ed Black Widow choice for this set. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, like, I would almost rather have this one on the alternate art with Kids Open one. I mean, one art that I specifically don't like, even though it's a character I love, Daredevil. It's too there's, hard to see. There's too much attention drawn to the, the don't go home, yeah. which I'm sure played a very important part in whatever cover, whatever story that's from. But here in the context of the card, we, we, we don't know what that means. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I think Thanos could have been a little better. Uh, yeah. Beast was the other uh, armpit. Uh, armpit yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanos could have been a little bit better. Like, I like that they got the Infinity Gauntlet on the die. But, like, here you just kind of see this, like, shades of black and blue. And it's like, I am you. And that's about it. Like, yeah, I, I mean, looking through my comments, I still think Star Lord's my favorite artwork. Yeah, no, it's very well done. Uh, I love the style, though, in general with this set. I think they've done a really nice job picking picking shots that really profile the character well. Um, you know, I even like that, like, Iron Man is as much in the Pepper Potts one as Pepper Potts is. Yeah. yeah. Because, like, that's kind of what she, It looks like, I don't know, is she, like, holding a certificate, his arms around her or something? Is that what's happening yeah. there? So, like, they're, they're very much tied together. Um but I, I think they all look really cool. Really good too. That being yeah. said, there's a couple I don't care for. Yeah, uh, uh, tell us. Maria Hill. Yeah. Um, is could have been a lot better. Uh, and um, the hell was the other one I was just looking at? So Maria and Colson. I, I think they could have done a much better picture of Colson. Yeah, I've been messing around with some uh, alternate art Shield. things for uh, for uh, I saw, Colson. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, you saw that. I really liked that. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to go with some shots from the TV show. Yeah. Just to see, maybe we'll make that a little. Giveaway prize. But see, that's where um, we talk about like movie stills. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, so, and I only want to see if they're ever going to do movies. I do not want a set that has movie stills in it at no. all. Not even slightly. Don't give it to me. I'm not buying. Well, I probably I said that about other sets. Yeah, I'm buying. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Um, J JT's over here opening his. Oh, he got his shield pull going. Shield T. Anything exciting there? Artwork. <laughs> One of the leg up. Ooh. JT's like, yeah, all the cards have pictures, so what? <laughs> <laughs> well, some of them, it, it, like, I like to try and find, like, the Hawkeye one. Like, I'm curious who's in the background of the Hawkeye. Movie. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not really sure who that is. I'm sure if somebody knows what comic cover that's from, but... Ooh, there's a rare shield agent. Not good. Hey, so when I said we're going to play with Age of Ultron... Basic actions. I'm changing my vote. I just pulled the uncommon block. Uh, I would really like to play with with any and all basic actions. Let's pull the common wasp. Let's pull the rare Star Lord. It gives me lots hey. of different directions to go. I yes. also got a rare shield agent. <clears throat> I'm pretty disappointed so far. That's oh, you're cool. spread out. Yeah, you guys get three on the scepter. Yeah, I can, I can load up on the scepter. That'll be awesome. I think yesterday the most I got in anything on different packs was two of the same. That was that gets frustrating. Mm. That's a rare fury. Mm. 
All right, Johnny. Hey, I caught, you got that common Thor. That's a must have. <laughs> common, common Giant Man, common, common Ultron. Come on, Ultron drums. <laughs> if you get the Ultron drum, I just cede to you. Because <laughs> I don't have anything quite so workable yet. Where did these come from? Were you looking at uh, art just a second ago? Yeah, they must have been sitting there from your leftover arts because there's no dice sitting with them. Yeah. And they don't seem good enough that you try to stack yeah. them in. <laughs> no, no, they don't. They're all common. I was looking through my stack of commons when I was looking at art. Is this all of your costume Thanos. Why? Oh, commons. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, hey, you got me the, the, uncommon the, the play class. local win big thing. Oh, there's the, I got the magnifying glass helicarrier myself here. Yeah. yeah. That one you need a uh, Colossus card of. Uh, so you, <laughs> you can read it. I had two of the common blocks. Ooh, there's a group. Super rare. Oh, oh. nice. First one. That's common Loki. That so one's going to be one. going on my seal. You end up with one super rare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, two, uh, two super rares in the page, yeah. There's one. Oh. Randy and I are still to be determined. Yep. Yeah. And I don't, I mean, they can't guarantee yeah. like yeah. specific things in the feed. The, the manufacturing process is just not that exact. Um, I'm fine with how they've been doing it. It seems like more people are going to you this time around. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, just, just slightly so. I think generally just people like to find something to be uncertain of. Uh oh, there we go. What do you got? Zombie Magneto. Nice. Wow. Good for you, man. All right, All right, so now I'm the only one in for that trade, right? <laughs> so you guys have both pulled two. I've only got one, and I've got four packs to go. Ooh. It's going to be there. Hey, you know what? It was in my, like, my last five packs that I got through here. Hey, rare star -hawk. Ooh, two spider Womans. And they're both. No, they're one common and uncommon. All right, let's see what else we got. New experience. How much do you think this set focuses resource management to the gameplay? That is a phenomenal question. Oh, my gosh, that's awesome. Um, I, I love that question. So resource management, I mean, I've been talking a lot about how, like, this is as much a Euro game as Zombie anything else. Zombie Magneto, sorry nice. to interrupt you, sir. Nice. There we go. Yeah. So we pulled the... So I'm the only one who didn't get the Zombie Magneto. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the only one who didn't get the Zombie one. Like, the kids are commiserating with you. <laughs> So you went uh, uh, Electro and Magneto. Yeah. Mags and, uh, and Red Skull. Yep. I have uh, Thanos and uh, Groot, both of which I can trade. I got Captain Universe. Too bad you don't have more Super That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah. You didn't get a second one? No. Uh, I'm not liking this pool I got here. Well, Mr. Canadian National Champion, I don't, I don't, think, I don't think you really. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't It's still the, the like, Really? I'm not loving this pool. I'm I'm starting to like mine. Oh. So back to your question. Back to the question. Yes, yeah, resource management. Sorry. Um. Yeah. I mean, I, I because of fielding costs. Yeah. I think this does. I think you really have to think about your curve. I think you have to think about the fielding costs, especially too. Yep. Um. I mean, there's just there's a lot to consider. If you just decide to wall up. It's not going to work well for you. Well, that's my problem. I don't have a lot of direct damage here in my... Oh, nor do I have it, uh, very many good overcrush candidates. I mean, I have a giant man. I have a Hulk. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I'm not so sure about my uh, about my pool here. But, but in any case, yes, absolutely. I mean, resource management is vital in a game like this as it is. I think this set does throw that in because the ways to get ramp are different. I don't know, what, what would you guys say to that? I mean, you, you're you all board gamers apart from just this, right? Like, I mean, I play lots of Euro, like Castles of Burgundy is one of my favorite games, Alien Frontiers, um, which has a lot of dice rolling and randomization, but also uh, resource allocation, and it's, it's worker placement with dice. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, I think it focuses on it a lot. I mean, I, I don't want I always want to try and say the why, though, too. Um, and now we all stare at our cards and think, yes. what do we do with this now? Yeah, well, I'm, 
I mean, I guess I'll go ahead and lead the discussion. I'm going to bring Zombie Magneto. Yeah. I've got two. I pulled the rare and the common Phil Coulson. And wow. I think I have to put both dice on the common Phil Coulson yep. to give my sidekicks that plus one attack. Yep. Um, I only got one shield agent, and it's the rare. And I might put him on the team just to get the buff from Phil Coulson, but I'm not looking at a whole lot of you know extra Avengers on my team. The uh, the uncommon Jacosta, I've got three dice on that one, wow. so I can I might be able to get some good churn with that. The common Loki, I've only got one die on him, but if I get him in the field, I only need one in the field. Um, and even though we're not looking at using outside basic actions, I don't think I can turn away from the uncommon Wasp. I mean, use a global ability. Yeah, each time you use. Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though there's not going to be a ton of globals, it's still it's still one I can I can use. I got a tough draw here. Um, I don't have anything like super evident in terms of like what I could do. I have a, I have like, well, I guess I, I have three guardians. I mean, I could go Star Lord, Gamora, Groot here and try and find a way to make that work, but that doesn't give me a lot of dice. Like that's four dice between those three characters. Um, I do have the rare Star Lord, so that's kind of nice, and he might and he might be a choice if I do go Guardians. Um, I do have Rocket Raccoon. I could go full out. Oh, here's another Gamora. Okay, I could go full out Guardians, um, but the problem is I have like the defensive side of the Guardians. I don't have the common Rocket Raccoon. I have the uncommon. He gets plus three attack. Um, I have the uh, I have the super rare Groot, which gives everybody plus three defense. So fine, everybody's gonna be hard to knock out, but I don't have a good way through. Um, I just I don't see a lot of ways that I have to deal a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm. I don't think I have any direct damage. I mean, other than that wasp global. Um, I mean, I've got. Well, that wasp global is only characters in this. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Common. Common. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've got the. I pulled an Ultron and an Ultron drone. Mm -hmm. But I've only got one Ultron drone, and it's it's awfully hard to try and trigger that Ultron ability if I have just one drone going through my bag. Yeah. Um, I mean, the only thing I have that really in way of a combat trick really is the uh, the shield helicarrier um, uncommon, which could give plus three attack and the Avengers icon if they attack this turn. Mm -hmm. um, that might be a way to go, just because I'm I'm going to be hurting for offense. If something can get through, right. then you can wait to play that action mm -hmm. until. This is the fun of sealed because. <laughs> You have to really find ways to be creative within certain confines. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you get that in draft. You really get that in sealed. Um, what are you looking at there, JT? Not much. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm pretty. I'm actually pretty disappointed. The the thing I might try and bring as a win condition is the rare Hyperion. Once per turn, when Hyperion is blocked by a, a villain, double his attack. Um, and I happen to pull Tin Head. So mm -hmm. I can make anybody a villain. And I got the uncommon Ultron drone, so I can make somebody block it. So it, it's going to take a little bit of work, um, but using some globals, I could I could force a character to block him and, and maybe have some overcrush on a double attack. So, mm -hmm. um, beyond that, though, I, I got three Bucky dice, so <laughs> I could bring those. Yeah, That's dice. good going for you. Um, I didn't get any Bucky, so there's that. Ooh. Yeah. I, I got that rare Starhawk. Um, so when you feel the character who shares an affiliation with him, this character and Starhawk both get plus two attack. Right. And I got the, the three cost Wasp. Um, but like as far as other Avengers or Guardians, I didn't get anything cheap. I mean, I got one of the common Fury, and I got one of the common Spider Woman. And both of those are three cost Avengers. Mm hmm. So I'll probably throw one of those on, just to, you know, just in case. But. Right. Oh uh, boy, yeah, this is a tough one. What are you looking at, Isaac? Um, well, I got my giant man, so he'll be out there. <laughs> uh, the, the zombie Magneto. I also got the uh, the common wasp. Um, I got two dice for her, so if you bring it her, I did get the only two um, ways to gain some dice in this turn. You only have one. I got the. Common Captain Marvel and the Uncommon Jocasta. I have both of those as well. I do have the uh, the Captain America can gain some dice as well. Whenever you take non combat damage, draw two dice, one of those dice in the prep area, and return the other to the bag. Um, 
they got the rare Baron Z mode, so he's coming mm -hmm. along. Um, that's the thing with the shield blade stuff. We have the one shield agent, two Colsons, but they don't really work well with anything else. My guardians, I have three on Starhawk, but I pulled common Starhawks. Um, um, and so I'm not really feeling that that's going to be much for me. Star Lord, the common, Gamora is uncommon. They don't really gel well enough, but that's the direction I want to take. Yeah, this is a tough. This is a tough one for sure. I mean, I, I did get the common Thanos, and I mean, seven cost. He costs two fewer to buy when you're at eleven life. But I mean, he doesn't have any other abilities in that. Yeah, just, but he's kind of, just a big boy. Just a big boy, but he's. I mean, he does have finish power, and finishing power stats, yeah. and that's. There's something to be said for that. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Let's roll some D20s here. That's what I did for Canadian National. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just see yeah. a yeah. binder. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's 1236 here, so I'm going to make a proposal. Uh, oh, we have another comment. Um, somebody asks, how do you all... Um, how do you all ramp to damage, or excuse me, how do you all ramp with this all A of Gibraltar set? I think we, we, we touched on it there. It's it's Captain America with non-combat damage, it's uncommon Jocasta, and probably more ideally the uh, the, un the common, rather, Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. When Captain Marvel deals combat damage, draw a die and place it in your prep area. Yeah. Um, there, we did talk about that beast, too. Um, so I'm going to make a proposal. We, uh, we have to figure out our teams. We also want to probably think about eating some kind of lunch. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. So why don't we, uh, we're going to stop this stream here and then we'll resume um, in a little while, uh, maybe like an hour and play some games. Start back so, up at 1.30 Eastern? Start back up a little about East, Eastern, I should. Yeah. <laughs> start back up about 1.30ish and uh, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching everybody. This is our Age of Ultron unboxing okay. and uh, all four of us and all of our many guests. Hey, how's it going? Um, and all of our many guests, you can pop and say, wave, wave to the people. They're out there. Yes. <laughs> We're just on camera. Come on. <laughs> now she's shy. All right. So we'll be back with you in just a little while, everybody. Uh, we'll get to play some games and see how well or horribly we do. <laughs> Bye. There we go. That was a wave. All right.